Next, uh, the old city owned its vitality to religious and cultural forces as a center of uh, administration. The modern city, however, is an economic phenomenon. In the light of the above statement, discuss the problems of suburban uh, spalls, uh, sl uh, slum dwellings, urban renewal in metropolitan areas, highlighting the central issues of uh, structural reorganization, functional distribution in uh, city management. For these kind of questions, I would expect you to read uh, uh, 12th Finance Commission report on, uh, not 12th Finance, 12th Plan report on uh, urban uh, governments, 12th Plan on urban development, 12th five year plan, it has uh, some very beautiful uh, points there, 12th plan on urban governance, where it has identified uh, the weaknesses in uh, urban governance, structural, functional, financial and personal, all the weaknesses, structural weaknesses, functional weaknesses, uh, financial weaknesses and personal, personal means uh, uh, bureaucracy officials. So what the question says is, uh, the question says that uh, if you look at uh, almost all the major cities in India, you can divide them into old city and uh, new cities, new towns. Old cities are mostly cultural and religious centers. You take the case of Delhi also, old Delhi. Okay, You get, you, take, you go to any state, any uh, major cities in India, old cities and uh, the new towns. New towns are mostly economic phenomena. They had come up because of the economic activities that are taking place. Industrialization. Mostly industrial towns. Now what is happening is that here uh, the infrastructure was uh, sufficient uh, only to cater to a certain sections of society. Because of uh, industrialization, because of urbanization, we have seen uh, expansion in the limits of the cities. From old to new to uh, satellite towns also. Because of this, uh, you know, we have so many problems, uh, suburban falls and then uh, slum dwellings, uh, urban renewal and uh, other problems of urbanization, other problems of urbanization. And uh, are we in a position to tackle these problems? Obviously, we are not in a position to tackle these problems. Why? Because of, uh, as we have said, uh, four important weaknesses, structural, functional, financial and personal. These are all the weaknesses. Structural means we don't have the structures, neither democratic nor bureaucratic, to tackle the issues arising out of uh, urbanization. Functional. The problem with this functional uh, aspect is these structures perform different functions. Typical Rixian uh, problem of a prismatic society. A single structure performs multiple functions. A single function is performed by multiple structures. What do we call it as? Yes, polyfunctionalism. Here, uh, the problem is that uh, the structures are, do not have any defined functions. They do not have any defined functions. That is the reason why sometime back UPS has asked a question uh, that uh, uh, this, uh, this unifunctional agencies and development authorities have created a functional jungle in urban areas. Unifunctional agencies and urban uh, uh, development authorities have created a functional jungle in uh, urban development in India. Next, uh, financial. You know, you require uh, 60 lakh crores of rupees to improve urban infrastructure. And next, uh, personal. Urban local self governments uh, do not have any. They do not have any separate uh, personal of their own to implement their programs separate personnel of their own to implement their programs. And you have to come out with solutions to all these problems. So what are the pro what are the solutions to the problems structures? As we have said, in urban areas, there should be one single authority, one single power center to which all the other structures are accountable. There should be one single power center to which all other structures are accountable like in United States of America. In United States of America, the chairman, the uh, you know, mayor of the city has absolute powers. Mayor of the city has absolute powers. In uh, After 2001, uh, uh, this uh, terror attacks, it was the New York City mayor who undertook all kinds of uh, uh, responsibilities. 
it was not the president it was not the ministers it was not the uh, secretary of state it was the entire responsibility fell on the shoulders of the mayor of the city why because the buck always stops with the mayor in the united states of america that is the reason why local self governments are very powerful strong effective whereas in india you know how many of us know about the mayors you know do you know who is the mayor of uh, east delhi or central delhi or how many municipal corporations are there in delhi three do you know who is your mayor where you are residing now you don't know nobody will know including himself okay why because they don't have any real power why because as we have said too many structures with no accountability it has created a functional jungle it has created a functional jungle the basic problem is that you know you take the case of delhi who is responsible for development of delhi you know ministry of urban development because delhi is a metropolitan city it is a union territory then ministry of home affairs for law and order then you have the delhi state government also nowadays he is not seen but arvind kejriwal used to be active once upon a time <laughs> nowadays what is happening to him <laughs> he don't know okay then you have since delhi is a union, ter- union ter- territory you have a lieutenant governor who has absolute powers who has absolute powers then delhi is trifurcated into three different municipalities so the municipal corporation mayor and members they are also responsible trifurcation next unifunctional agencies like uh, delhi jal board you know and uh, in uh, electricity boards uni functional agencies means perform a single function electricity and uh, in a, p- a public works department like this and then you have development authority dda delhi development authority then you have uh, in delhi residential welfare residential welfare associations also rwas and then uh, arvind kejriwal had come out with this mola committees also yes mola committees also so many of them are responsible and who is accountable that is where the problem structural problems and functional issues financial problems and then problems related to personal that is where the problem that is the reason why you can see lots of questions about urbanization in your general studies as well as public administration still upsc can ask lots of questions about urbanization in your general studies paper 1 polity governance economy as well as ethics case studies you have questions be prepared for all these things and i would expect you to go through that uh, uh, 12th plan report on urban development very good report yes yes you meant to say that developing satellite towns to reduce congestion yes, like uh no the question is you are not talking about as i said we always look at the issues from a macro perspective it is not about the floor place index and all this these are all micro things structural reorganization means structures that are there in urban areas which are responsible for governance in terms of you know slum dwellings and then urban renewal all these things obviously that is a, that's what you know hardware in challenges in the form of structures and uh, software in the form of personal and uh, functions the same thing you know you will be coming back to only these things you know going uh, around you will come back to only these things i would uh, expect you to go through that one urban development very very good topic because uh, as i said in all four papers of gs and public administration very very important